injury is part of the game. So, you know, when you play the Ravens, these sometimes things like that happen. But. The Pittsburgh Steelers next, a division opponent, another grinded out game. By Cincinnati. It is round two of this AFC North matchup. It's Thursday night football. It's AFC North football. It's week 10 of the NFL season. And here we got the Baltimore Ravens hosting the Cincinnati Bengals. This will be the second matchup that these two teams have played in. Obviously, week five was a crushing loss for us. And it was a thrilling victory for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're both coming into this game a little bit in, in just, I don't want to say trending in opposite directions, but coming in, I guess, on trending kind of in the right direction, if you want to call it that. Uh, you know, the Bengals, obviously, we took a look at... We, we got to always take a look at us first, obviously. We're four and five, man. We're third in the AFC North. We obviously just dominated the Las Vegas Raiders, 41-24. to 24. Uh, We're three and one on the road. That's a big plus, but I'm not going to say we played the best opponents. Obviously, the only loss that we had was on fourth and 16 to the Kansas City Chiefs, but... You know, the Giants, the Panthers, the Browns, I mean, you know, come on. I mean, that's not really been a true road test yet. Um, so I think this is definitely one of them, no question about it. A team that's given us a lot of problem, problems the last two years. I mean, you got you to gotta figure. I mean, the Bengals, are, they've won three of the last four games. They have to feel pretty good coming into this game regardless of the opponents. Um, you know, Trey Hendrickson is coming off a four-sack game, best game of his career. Um, Joe Burrow, even he's playing the best ball of his career as well. So it's just been a big, big, um, I guess just spark for this team. But like I said, it's just, it just hasn't been going our way so far. So, you know, it's one of those things, man, you just gotta, you just gotta hope for the best. Um, because you know, you never know what AFC North is going to bring, you know, AFC North matchups are always tough and, you know, especially against these guys. I mean, these guys are no joke. And speaking of those guys, let's look at them, man. Let's look at the Baltimore Ravens. They're third, They're 6-3. and three. They have the same amount of wins as the Pittsburgh Steelers, but they're second in the AFC North behind them. And they also have a 3-1 and one home record. And their, their only loss, obviously, was in Week 2 against the same opponent we played last week, the, the Las Vegas Raiders. So they've got a lot of momentum coming into this game. Obviously, they lost to Cleveland a couple weeks ago, but they got some strong momentum, man. They've won six of the last seven. Um, obviously on offense side of the ball, these two guys are who you got to pay attention to the most. Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry, just a deadly running back combo because yes, Lamar Jackson is a, he, he, he's a running back who plays quarterback. And that's like, honestly a good thing because this dude has a balanced, you know, passing and rushing, you know, attack on him. And he's just a, a complete dual threat. So you have to respect that man. And then obviously they took advantage of Denver's defense, uh, 41 to 10, they dominated, uh, Lamar Jackson had an incredible game. He had, I think this is, his, he set a franchise record, if I'm not mistaken, fourth straight game with passing over 275 yards. So that's an achievement right there. So they're looking good coming to this game. And like I said, they gave us a crushing loss in week five. Um, we were up by 10 with four minutes remaining, or three, five minutes remaining or whatever it was. And then obviously, uh, that, that, that interception that just killed the, that just killed the momentum. And then, Unfortunately, man, we just couldn't capitalize off a of Lamar Jackson fumble, and then, you know, they obviously, Derrick Henry, ran, you know, for a 50-yard burst, and, you know, Tucker won the game, so, you know, it's just one of those things, man, it's just gonna be a tough, grinded out game, and it's just gonna be, it's gonna be a hard one to win, um, yeah, but that's, that's a look at the Ravens, man, uh, let's be honest, though, AFC North matchup, you know what you gotta do, it, it feels like the same thing for all three teams, I mean, you gotta, first of all, you gotta contain Lamar, just like you do have to do for Nick Chubb, just like you do for Najee Harris. That goes for all AFC North, you know, running back threats. You know, you got to limit his rushing and his big play passing because he's definitely capable of doing that. You know, he makes brilliant throws. If you saw in that Bucks game when the Ravens played on Monday night, he made some excellent throws. And, you know, got to just continue the connection, man. Got to keep Burrow and Chase. Chase has been kind of slow the last two weeks. Yeah, it could be because Higgins is out. But, you know, like, like always, I mean... Chase is gonna get his. Chase is gonna get his. That's just how great he is. So you know, 
Joe Burrow's job is to just feed Jamar Chase as much as he can, and um, you know we'll go from there. But get the other guys involved. Get Yoshi involved. Get you know um, Trenton Irwin even there. I say involved. Mike Kaziki had a great game last week as well. So it's going to come down to that. And then obviously you got to limit the mistakes. Got to limit the turnover mistakes. We had some issues in the red zone, obviously against these guys. Um, you know we picked it up in the second half, but you know that's where the that's kind of where the game kind of I guess not twisted, but in the first half. That was a big struggle for us. And, you know, special teams, look, I I know Evan McPherson had a solid game last week, but I'm still concerned about him. I mean, you got to you gotta be aware. I mean, it's like 50-yard-plus field goals. Not, I, I just don't have that faith right now. So it's important for him to have a good game here. Um, obviously, you know, because of the long snapper, some kids say it's because of him. I don't know what it is, but the holder – is the special teams has to find a way to execute because if they don't, they're gonna lose. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a big test. Um, we know that, and you know, my my main thing is just contain what you can, man. The defense is healthier, I want to say, but you know, we didn't really add the thing. The problem I have is we didn't really add much at the trade deadline to the defense. You know, with the depth issues that we have on defense. I mean, yeah, we added Khalil Herbert you know, on that running back side, but which is important for us. I mean, we needed depth. It just, the defense just needs to, the defense has to be better. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm sure that they were trying. I appreciate that they were trying, but it's like, you really should have completed the trade. I mean, how many times have we been in the position where it's like, we know, we're like, we, we, we have a trade in mind, but it just doesn't go through. And then we have to wait till the off season. That's what I appreciate. Just have that, have that freaking thing. But at the same time, I'm not completely mad because I mean, this team just made their third trade in franchise history. <laughs> so, you know, it's hard to get mad about that. But the trade deadline trade, like, it's just, that's one of those things, man, you just have to, you got to address midseason, especially if you're trying to compete. You know, this team is four and five, and they're, they are trying to compete, it's clear. But, you know, right now, it just doesn't look like we have the team to do that. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, but these are the keys to victory. And like I always say, man, it's AFC North football. It's a divisional rivalry. Every play matters. I don't like the Ravens at all. A win could change our momentum. We have to get revenge, as you saw in the beginning of the clip, for that revenge. Uh, for pretty much all the BS that Ravens fans did, obviously they chanted F Joe Burrow after they beat us. And, you know, Joe Burrow unfortunately suffered a season-ending rest injury. And then Roquan Smith, you know, he you, you saw the answers that he gave. He tried to come off as a little bit of a tough guy. Um, you know, he said, like, Instead of like just straight up offering the condolences, yeah, he said speedy recovery. I'm not gonna say that he didn't say that. He said speedy recovery is respect to him, but there was no need to say like you know when you play the Ravens defense, sometimes things like that happen. It's like you you could just you can be graceful about it. You don't have to just flex about it. That, that just comes across as dirty to me. And it just kind of downplays the injury, and um, that's just not the way to go about it in my opinion. So hopefully that this is on their mind because. You know, there's a little bit of a respectful hatred between these two teams, but it's like, sometimes I just can't stand these guys. And it's like, you know, Roquan Smith, his attitude last year was, was a big reason why um, just the fans in general, I know they were intoxicated, you can say, but it was like 15, 20 fans. But at the end of the day, man, they're still, that's that, that has to be on their mind. I mean, you know, you got to go in there and just grind out a win the best you can, you know. Do I think they're going to win? I do not unfortunately, but I'm hopeful because the Ravens just look too good coming into this game, man. So right now I don't have a lot of confidence. Yeah, we beat the Raiders. Cool. But I'll believe it when I see it. So, you know, right now I just don't have the faith, but like always, I root for these dudes win or lose. I'm always here. I always watch, but you know, I, that isn't that I, I'm facts over feelings as I always say, man. So it's AFC North football. It's a divisional game. Remember the keys to victory, man. As always, I'll leave this up here for the last, uh, you know, just the, the last just the last few seconds, just so we know what we need to do to win. But you guys have a great one. Um, and Thursday Night Football, first time the Bengals have been on there in quite a bit. If I'm not mistaken, it was last year in Baltimore. So, yeah, I think they knew what they were doing when they were putting this game. So, three games in ten days. That's great. Um, but you guys have a great one. Have a... Just a blessed, blessed week of football. Hopefully I can get a long 10-day rest from this team off a of W, man. So you guys have a good one, and I am gone. Peace out, guys. Who day?